So when were you gonna tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. Come on. this place an old haunting camp we can rest here until your friends attack us again I know the signs all right it's abandoned ah I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here don't trust this fucking place fine here. Let me take a look at it. Ow! Fuck! Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ugh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north, and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. It's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive. Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... Huh. This... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove.
Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. If things get bloody, are you on my side or his? My father honors guest right, just as you do. You didn't answer the question. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes. I suppose you are. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once. And could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Coral died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. That must be you. <laughs> Much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. I'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. That's far enough. What's Lord Whitehill planning? Bloodshed, most likely. We won't go down without a fight. Just follow my lead, whatever happens.
Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. He's testing us, seeing what we're made of. Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? I could ask you the same thing. All these soldiers... Sounds like you're feeling outnumbered. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, as lovely as this is, I presume we have business to discuss. Indeed we do. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten... So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. Need I remind you, you kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me slaughtering your small folk. Funny you should mention Griff. Have you heard from him, Lee? What are you getting at? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? I'll gladly return it, if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! 
Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! No! No! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Let him go, or I'll have Griff This is killed. not what we agreed! Grim him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned. I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Why don't you hold, hold me! Let him go! Everyone, please! No. I'll kill you, mate! I'll take your Ironwood deal. If you make the trade... Come on, Lord. Things don't have to end this way. You're lucky I know mercy. Uh. <clears throat> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. It's been a pleasure, Lud. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. We'll need to take those two out first. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. You're right. Sorry. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? We just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she will. <laughs> 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 We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So? Which will it be? We'll stay on the ground. You take the wall.
take care of him first. I think he got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go! said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. Just keep doing it that way. You tell me when your sword breaks. Then it won't break. <laughs> you will have to first see how you like it. All clear down there? We can finish this. Just look at them. Two men. We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. Let's do this then. You ready? Now! Hey! Get him! Light the beacon! Stop him! Well, hello.
<laughs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? Starting. 